All right, guys, today we are going to be doing a draft challenge that I just came up with on the spot because I'm running low on ideas here. So this is going to be the goalie challenge. I'm going to give myself one defender to make it partially possible. Otherwise, we'd get absolutely annihilated. We're probably going to anyway. But yeah, I'll give myself one guy and the team will randomize. So the way this is going to work is that if I make a save or for every save that I make, we get to take a player that is 80 or better. And for every goal they score, I have to take a player that is lower than 80 overall. We're going to do 20 attempts because that's what makes up a team. And that is going to be the number of players we draft for our franchise there. So, yeah. Let's see. Hopefully, I can make a decent amount of saves. And let's randomize the team here. I will look at the camera. And I am going to stop right about now. All right. Nashville Predators it is. That means I should get Roman Yossi, which is nice, and I get you see what I see. Let's go. Okay, it's on Superstar. The trainer is off. Let us jump in. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous here. I feel like I'm not going to save a whole lot. But if I can get... Uh, I would like more than 10. But if I'll get more than 10, that is the real question that needs to be asked here. Okay, I get snipe short side already. That's amazing. So that's one player below 80. That's a hot start. Forsberg, he's in. He's going to take a shot. Like, catch it, dude. It's in your glove already. And then they score. And then they score. It is now 2 nothing. That is two players below 80 overall. Duchesne is going to take the best shot I've ever seen in my entire... How am I supposed to save that? What am I supposed to do there? There's literally nothing I could do. Granlund, okay. That goes wide. We're only at three, so that's not so bad. But we definitely need to start making some saves here. That is a save. But unfortunately, it does not count. Yossi with it. Forsberg is going to lose it. And that will go to Granlund. Across. That's another save. Ben I get Benning? Why do I get Benning and they get Yossi? How's that any fair? Smother it. I'll take that. That's, that's one. That is one for the boys. Okay. Here they come again. Forsberg is in. Over to Duchesne. And now Kyrie with it. That is another save. Three to two. That's all right. We're bouncing back here. Duchesne over the line. Passes it to Granlund. Benning kind of interrupted that. And he interrupts that as well. Like, if he gets it out, does that count as a win for me? Or do I straight up have to smother this thing? I probably have to smother it, I'm guessing. That's a big stop, though. For what is that angle? Are you kidding me? That was wild. All right, well, Duchesne over to Granlund. Makes a glove save, but can't catch it. And I'm assuming... Based on how this is going. Oh, it does count. Let's go. <laughs> I'll take that. 4-3. At least I made one good save there, kind of. And smother it, smother it, smother it. Oh, okay. You can take it then. That works too. That works too. Let's go. Okay, taking a quick break here. We currently have 12 shots. Yeah, 4-4 four, four right now, which is good. And I said if we get 10, I'd be pretty happy with that. So let's see if we can keep up on that pace. Duchesne is in. Takes a shot. Oh, I thought that was going to find its way in. But no, it went over the net. Granny with it. That goes up out of play, which counts as no once. It's just a reset. All right. Forsberg goes to the point. Yossi down low in the mitten. That is 5-4. Okay. Good stuff. Duchesne again. In over the line. Stops up. Goes for a shot. Another save. 6-4. That is great. All right. We're doing good. So far, so good, I would like to say. But that could turn, yeah, real quick. And it did. TSN turning point right there. 6-5. All right, Duchesne in again. He gets all alone, saved it, and smothered it. Fire me up. Okay, that is very good. 7-5. We are three away from my goal. Forsberg gives me a gift. You legend, he knows what's going on. That guy knows. Puck's behind the net. Benning is going to get it, but get pinned immediately. And he has no teammates to come help him out, but he still wins it. What a mad lad. Oh, he lost it. He did lose it. That's okay. Yossi downloaded. Duchesne, who spins around. That's going to be stopped. And we have it again. Nope. Don't like this. I don't like this at all. Smother it. Yes. Let's go. 9-5. All right. This is going much better than expected. I'm going to be honest. Granlin with it. Oh, I gave him that. I gave him that. I was sort of nervous about the pass, so I cheated way too far to the left and just fully gave him short side there. That's a glove save. And I'm coming off the post. Duchesne goes across. Oh, cross again. I'm sliding all over the place. I'm an absolute disaster. That was all me. That was all me. Okay, one more. I just need one more save to get to my goal. One more save to get to my goal. The point has it now. Download a Granlund. 
He's not gonna get a shot off. I'm not giving you the short side. No, not today. Another big save. Come on, get that out. Carry it out of the zone. Yes, you legend, no. He can do it. He can still do it, and he does it. Why are they backing off? All right, well, I got to my goal, and now there's three more attempts to decide how the rest of this thing goes, and I'm so ha Get up, please. Get up. Thank you. That was scary. Thought I was going to get scored on from literally just lying on the ground. Benning, you absolute legend. All right. It is 11-7. Two more attempts. Philip, He's in. He goes across to Duchesne. Who rips one on me? Yeah, that's a good shot. Last attempt. 12 would be nice. 12 would be real nice. And I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get 11. So that's how we finish off. 11-9. 28 shots total. Let's draft a team now. Which means we are going to have 9 players below 80 overall. We could, we could make that work, maybe. I guess I'll use Nashville again just to, yeah, fit the uh, whole thing here. So let's continue. And owner mode, no. Fantasy draft, yes, please. Don't edit my lines. Fog of War is off. Player morale, off as well. And I think that should be good. All right, so we get 11 players above 80. 11. That's doable, I suppose. Actually, wait, hold up. I need to turn off injuries and whatnot. So let's go to quick settings. And let's turn injuries off. And then advanced settings, I want to turn off some of the notifications as well. So waiver notifications, stars only, trade stars only, and the rest should be good. All right. Which draft pick are we going to get? I'm going to say 12. Just a random number to throw out there. And we get number 23. Amazing. So, obviously my first 11 picks are going to be the ones above 80 overall. Kyle Connor would be a good start. So would Kaprizov. Hmm. Barkov, though, I don't know how unorthodox I've, <laughs> I want to be with this draft. This one, I kind of want to be pretty straightforward. Connor Hellebuck, 28. We could still probably get a 90 overall goalie by the time it comes back to us. Well, maybe. Okay, I'm going to... Is there any really good defenseman here? I mean, Petrangelo, but no. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to take Kyle Connor to start off the team here. That's a good start. Probably going to draft a goalie now. If there is a good one. Oh, yeah, there is. Hellebuck is still here. And so is Shesterkin. Okay. But Hellebuck has an X factor. Carey Price is good as well. Uh, I'm going to take Bucky in honor of the Houston Hammerheads. We really got to try and stack up where possible. So I'm going to take Malkin to be the first line center. And I would like to try and get some defensemen in here very soon. Ryan Ellis would be kind of nice. Devin Taves as well. Okay, so there are options there. We could also get Tarasenko to be the first line right winger. He is a sniper. What player type is Kyle Connor, actually? Uh, how do I... Wait, no, I think you go here, and then you go to drafted players. Kyle Connor, is he a sniper? Yes, he is. Okay, so we don't need another sniper then. That's fine. Okay. Trying to think of what to do here then. I think I might take Devin Taves, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to do it. So we are four players in of the above 80s. And so far, it's looking pretty good. McDonough would be another good defenseman. I do want to try and build up our defense quite a lot. He's got a bunch of abilities there. Certainly doesn't hurt. Okay. Yeah, 6.7. Let's take him. That's a good defenseman to have. And that will be our first pairing, at least most likely. What else do we got here? Because the other players, we probably don't have to worry too much about cap with. I'm thinking anyway. That is not a guarantee. But let's see what type of player Oshi is. Two-way forward. Okay, you're going to be on the first line as well. That is our first line done, our first defensive pair done, and our starting goalie done. So we currently have six, which means we get five more. I guess I want my second line and my second defensive pair. And then our backup goalie is just going to be not great. Okay, so we need to really stack up on this next line here. Who do we take? Who do we take? Yo, Chandler? I think I'm I think I'm down. I'm pretty sure I'm down. Great player. Yeah, let's let's take him. I'm so sad he's not a capital anymore. Simply because Giordano has all these abilities, I am going to grab him for the team as well. This is a fairly old team, the average age right now, but, well, yeah, I know it is pretty old. Okay, let us think here. I still need one more defenseman and a center, 
And a right wing. Okay. Suitor. He does have two abilities. I want to try and stack those up where possible. Cam Atkinson has some abilities as well. So that's nice. Fill the thrill. Okay. Well, maybe I will take Cam Atkinson then to be our second line right winger. He is a sniper. Okay, so let's take him. There you go. And what do we need now? A centerman and a defenseman. Well, I guess they don't really have to be a centerman. Like, what's your face-offs? Oh, okay. Maybe never mind on all that. Uh, hmm. Let's look at who we drafted again. So we have... Oh, Chandler. He's a two-way forward. And then we have Atkinson, who's a sniper. So ideally, I would want a center playmaker. Centers. $10 million. Holy crap. Uh, Boone Jenner. He's been doing real good. He's a two-way forward. Where's all the playmakers at? Blake Coleman. Holy. Okay. Well, then. Maybe we aren't going to get a center playmaker. <laughs> Uh, is there anyone who like doubles as a center? I don't even care. You know what? Screw it. We'll play a winger there. Doesn't matter to me. Welcome to the team, Zuccarello. So this is our last pick above 80 overall. Our very last pick, and I would like it to be a defenseman, so our top two pairs are at least very good. So let's go to defense. Is there anyone with abilities left over? Doesn't look like it. Probably not. Yeah, okay, so... We're not going to get lucky in that regard. So now I strictly want to go by overall for the most part. So we've got to take an 83. And now the question is, which 83 should we take? If I go to drafted players, so right now we have... Are they all left-handed? They are all left-handed. Let's definitely get a right-handed defenseman. Available players. Subban shoots right. Uh, so does Myers. So does Eric. Okay. A lot of right-handed. The top three there were all right. Kevin Shattenkirk is right as well. Hmm. He's an offensive defenseman, right? And our drafted players, we have two-way, two-way, two-way. So I would like an offensive defenseman. He's a two-way. Okay, so I'm going to take Shattenkirk then. And that is our last above 80 pick. You know what? I have a strategy for this. It worked last time. I'm going to see if it works this time. Let's sort by physicality. Who do we have under 80 overall? Zach Cassian. Uh, yeah, he, I was going to say Lucic, but he's 80. Okay, Zach Cassian, welcome to the team. There's another right winger for us. That is all I'm doing for the rest of the draft, and I'm going to hope it works that we can just basically beat down other teams and make them not even want to compete anymore. All right, so I will take Matt Martin then. Sure. Actually, you know what? Let's take Brian Boyle. 79. Yeah, we can do that. And then I'll take Matt Martin. Okay, and I should... Uh, we probably don't really have to worry about a backup goalie, but I'll look after this pick. Okay. Um, Ryan Reeves. want to grab him as well. I don't think Matt Martin's going anywhere. Let's grab Reeves. We're definitely still good on goalies. Don't need to worry about that. And let's go back to physicality. All right. So Dano Chara is above 80. Matt Martin is not. Kyle Clifford as well. He's 78, actually. Maybe we'll take Clifford. Delorier is 78. Okay, he's a grinder. Discipline is 65. <laughs> what about Clifford? Same thing. All right, well, we're going to be in the box a whole lot, it seems, but I'll take Clifford. There you go. We are definitely going to have some wingers playing center, but I'm not overly worried about that. Physicality. Back there we go. Any defensemen here? Zadorov, but he's 80. Tenority at 76. Good Branson. Okay, well... Let's take Matt Martin now then. I'm honestly probably just going to take the goalie last. I think that's the move. Logan Stanley. He is a big boy. Yeah, we could grab him as well. Sure, there you go. I haven't even been looking at cap. We have $8 million left, which should be enough. We need one more defenseman. We are in need of one more forward. Okay, so we basically need one forward, one defenseman, and our backup goalie. So let's sort by physicality again. Which forward will we take? The Laurier is 78, which is pretty good. So anyone who's 79, another 78. Oh, he needs a center. We need centers, so there you go. You're on the team, Kyra. Boom. There's another pick. And we now need a defenseman and a goalie. So let's go by defenseman, sort by physicality. Zidane Char is the only five-star physicality. Anyone here pretty good overall? 79s? Okay, here we go. 
We got Radko Gudis. You know what? I have him on my fantasy team, actually, and he's doing pretty good. I'm going to grab him. And last but not least, we have to pick a goalie who is below 80 overall. Uh, Dubnik. He's also a big boy, so he'd be nice to have on the team as well. Yeah, we could grab him. Yeah, let's grab him, sure. Devin Dubnik is going to be our backup. Well, there we go. That's our team. Are we going to be any good? No clue. But we're going to find out very soon once we put these lines together. So I already turned injuries off. Don't need to worry about that. So we can sim right up to the regular season. Okay, TJ Oshie actually has 74 face-offs. So I'm going to play him in the middle so that we have a left-handed player on the left side. And then we get a plus three on the first line, which is wild. This is everyone we drafted. So yeah, that is good. On defense, ooh, okay. Uh, what can we do here? No, that's not gonna work. That would give us a zero. If I move Giordano down, we get a plus one, plus one. And if I move Stanley up to the first thing, we get that, but oh my word. We get a plus five with these two on the second pair. And then that would be a plus one. So let's do that. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Absolute thing of beauty. Okay. I'll take that. Uh, yep. And then our offense is there. Goalies, Hellebuck, Dubnik. All righty. So I'm going to say that Malkin gets the most points with 79. I'm going to say we do make the playoffs. You know what? I'm going to say it. We're making it. Oh, that's a rough start. 7 nothing loss to the Kraken. Okay. Well, I think I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure we're not making the playoffs. Just kidding. It's still way too early, but yeah, we are not off to a good start. Not off to a good start whatsoever. Okay, we're really bouncing back with the wins here. What the heck? We were getting annihilated, and now we sort of brought it back. I mean, we're still not doing well, but bring as many games to overtime as you can, and, you know, try to get some wins here and there. I'm still going to say that we're going to make the playoffs. I am definitely losing confidence in that prediction, but I'm not going to change it. Mostly because that would just be silly. I gotta stick to my guns. I said it at the beginning of the year. So yeah, let's let's see if we can end up turning this season around. If we can at least have more wins than regulation losses going into the deadline, I'll be happy with that. And it looks like it's gonna be a close race. Yeah, the playoffs are looking more and more unlikely. But I'm gonna enter the deadline. I don't plan on making any moves. I just want to see who's there. Johnny Goudreau. Tori Krug, Hurdle. I feel like Hurdle's always on the block. Uh, Darcy Kemper, Cop as well. Perron, Lindholm. Okay, so yeah, pretty decent trading block or selection of players, but I am not interested. Let's keep simming and see if by some crazy chance we can make it. Wow. Krug, Rodriguez, Hayes, and a fourth for a first, a second, and Veerling. Don't know who that is. And then we got Goudreau and Dylan to the Rangers in exchange for two firsts and Sarilla, Sarella, sorry about that. This is the first time I've gotten three. Spurgeon and two thirds for a first. Okay, thought I was gonna get a fourth for a second there. There's a win, I'll take overtime losses. Like we are losing a lot in overtime, but those are points, you know? It's a point, <laughs> it counts. Okay, there we go. Bounce back with a win there against the Caps. Oh my, are we gonna have the best post-trade deadline of all time? Which would be very weird compared to what I'm used to. Another overtime loss. That's a point though. Oh yeah? Come on. Finish strong. Finish strong. There we go. Oh, we made it. We actually made it. I did not expect that. I'm going to be real. So Malkin ended up with 76 points. That's still pretty good. And then we got 74 from Kyle Connor. Zuccarello with 65. Cam Atkinson put up 57. Same with Oshi. So yeah, i Got some production here. Kyle Clifford put up 41. Let's go. That is huge. All right. How'd our goaltenders do? Uh, not the best. Not the best. 904 and 293 from Hellebuck. It's still pretty solid, actually. Okay. And then Dubnik, 14-7-1 with three shutouts, a 913 and 272. Look at you go. Atta boy. That is unreal. Okay. Let's check out the entire league quick time. See what's going on there. So, Marchi with the Art Ross, 101. Crosby gets 95. Matthews with 93. It looks like he might... Nope, Ovechkin down there with 52 is going to take the Rocket Richard, I would bet. All right, let's just check. Yes, he did. And let's check out defensemen. We've got Hamilton with 74. Petrangelo with 74. Carlson, 68. McCarr with 66. Okay, there we go. And goalies. We have... 
Gibson, 43 wins, a 9-12 and 274. Campbell did extraordinary as well. Nadeljkovic as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. Swayman's up there. Jari had a boy. Okay. Flurry down there with a 920. Decent. Very decent. Let's do this. Do we get first rounded? Maybe. <laughs> Definitely possible. Down here we go. Let's just blast through these playoffs. Okay. Nice. Yeah, we lost. First round exit. Not a shocker at all. And the Dallas Stars go on to win the Stanley Cup. All right. Well, let's have a quick look at their roster and see why they ended up winning the Stanley Cup, I suppose. Yeah, let's go up to Dallas. There you are. All right. They had Sveshnikov, who's up to 90 overall. Barzal at 89. Palat, 86. Okay. Yeah, just looking at this, they have a very solid team. Yep. I will give that to you. They have a good team. Makes sense. In net, they had Freddy, 90 overall. Yeah, they definitely had a good team. Caden Primo, as well as the backup. Okay, good for you, Dallas. Let's have a look at the awards and whatnot. Good for you, Malkin, in the playoffs as well. He did very strong there. Eight points in five games. I think that's what it said, right? Just double checking. Eight points, five games. Yeah, cool. Let's check out the trophies. Boom. Dallas won the Stanley Cup, as we know. The Golden Knights win the Presidents, and the finals was Dallas against Tampa Bay. If we go to individual, Marchie with the Art Ross and the Hart. Dougie gets the Norris. Debrinkat gets the Lady Bing. Trevor with the Calder. Atta boy. Freddie Anderson gets the Con Smythe. Shesterkin with the Vesna. The Jennings goes to Campbell's. Adorov with the Bill Masterton. Chichu gets the Jack Adams. O'Reilly with the Selkie. Marchie with the Ted Lindsay. And as we saw, Ovi with the Rocket Richard. Okay, here's the playoff tree. Thank you guys for watching that video. Hopefully it was partially interesting. If you have any other ideas or something similar like this, go ahead and let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.